How to deal with difficult directors. Actors work with directors. In actors' career, actors work with tens and maybe hundreds of directors. Some of them are easy to work with. Some of them may be a traumatizing experience for both sides. In this video, I'm going to explain the reasons why directors become difficult and how to deal with that. Let's remember what actually the job of the director is. The director's job is to direct everybody on set or on stage to the one vision. That means that there is one vision of the whole piece. This vision exists in the imagination of the director and he needs to lead and to direct all actors, designers, technicians, sound, light, costumes, etc. to work as one unit to tell the one story and to deliver the one message. To be able to do that, the director, first of all, has to have a vision, drama knowledge, and third, communication skills. The first reason of difficult directors is lack of vision, lack of drama knowledge, and lack of communication skills. What kind of a director is that? Is there such a thing? And the answer is yes. Not all directors studied drama. Many directors become directors because they are connected to influential people who gave them this job as a result of a personal connection. Some of them become directors after they were director assistants or graphic designers or people who read a couple of books about theater or about psychology. So they consider themselves having a sense and uh, intuition for art, believing that they can also direct. And of course, many amateur actors trust them and work with them for free. Some even studied directing, but didn't learn anything because they wasted their time in the academy, drunk and smoking harsh in the park with the cool classmates, trusting that the job is already promised to them anyway because their father is the director of a big theater or the sister-in-law is a famous director. And that's why, uh, that's why they get in business, but not the knowledge. So we see here that how the art scene is full of non-directors and non-artists that somehow made their way to the top without having any clue of what theater is or what drama is. You can't even imagine how many famous directors belong to this category, but the public relation department of their theaters keeps hiding those facts and instead telling romantic illusionary stories about their art and even about their private lives to make it more exotic. So even when those directors have a lot of resources, money, crew, equipment, public relations, they still lack the most important resource, which is the knowledge. And that makes them very difficult. So if you're having difficulties dealing with a director who is confused about a vision that he or she doesn't have, and is or she are improvising generally on general cliches and superficial concepts and using unprofessional techniques to communicate with actors like the personal relationships, uh, emotional manipulations or general metaphors. First, ask yourself if this director has a family member or a friend holding a key position in society. Then if so, know that it has nothing to do with you that it's normal, we are living in a narcissistic society and because of the nature of the real artist, you can't like us or deny your truth. So you'll be always resistant against this corruption and that will create bad chemistry, especially when your truth is mixed with the uh, denial state of being of the narcissistic director that feels intimidated by your resistance that is reflecting to him or her the most ugly truth that he or she desperately tries to uh, suppress. If you don't want to lose yourself and your truth, let go and run from the situation. I mean, you can't fix this. This is a social problem and we need a big spiritual and artistic uh, revolution on a bigger scale to, to fix it. The second reason, actors dealing with a director who studied directing and drama. Many professional educated directors have never studied acting and never performed themselves. This is a, a big disadvantage, but still, they do have a vision. They know what drama is made of, but they may have difficulties to communicate their vision and directions with actors. That's why 
they choose and pay professional actors a lot of money trusting that they know what to do and how to do it here actors have to be on a very high level of professionality and knowledge to be able to know what to do and in case of needing a direction to know also which question to ask where and how to find an answer here the more experience those directors have the better their communicating skills become but anyway actors you need to be super professional that means that you learned acting from professional sources and that you have the professional attitude otherwise that will be the third reason the third reason actors may be the cause of the difficulty some actors didn't study acting or took a couple of workshops here and there or read a couple of books or even studied for a year in a toxic acting studio with toxic acting teachers you can watch the video about toxic acting uh, teachers if you like i will link it below unconscious destructive mechanism of acting students out of ignorance of course that may lead to confusion through their career in general including issues and difficulties with directors you can know actors from this category through these following symptoms actors who can't follow directions many actors experience following a direction of the director as who the hell you think you are to tell me what to do they totally misunderstand the idea and the concept of direction and experience it as humiliation some actors work on pulling the whole ship to their own vision rather than following the director's vision it can be also because of uh, many reasons sometimes it is more comfortable to the actor sometimes it serves his interest sometimes it makes his character look better sometimes actors are just limited by their own concepts that they built for themselves and refuse to open up for new ideas rejecting any option of authenticity whatever the motive is it will make them resist to the director's vision each reason from the above may create what people may call bad chemistry that can manifest in uh, difficulties and conflicts so when you hear an actor saying that director is difficult don't trust buying into the judgment of the actor and when you hear a director saying this actor is problematic don't trust buying into the judgment of the director because now you have many questions to ask before to be able to see the bigger picture and the proportions to make a fair judgment the thing that is very important to inspire you to choose joyful choices and creative professional life i hope i could help with that thank you so much for watching